When I was about 45, um, I was childless, I, I was probably barren, I don't know, but my husband was uh, almost sterile and um, I'd been married for 13 years and I didn't have a child and I didn't know that I could pray for it, the Lord to give me a child. I was in church one day and then the minister said, whatever you want, you must just ask the Lord. So in simple faith, I asked the Lord, was it was a Christmas service, I asked the Lord, please could I have a child? And by the next Christmas, I was eight months pregnant. And that, to me, the Lord healed my womb and he healed my husband's sperm and uh, my son is now 45 years old and a blessing to me. Then later on, when I was a, more of a mature Christian, quite a mature Christian, and uh, twice I had a healing through a word of knowledge. The first word of knowledge came, somebody said, uh, that there was people with uh, uh, that had bruised ribs, which was a strange thing because my ribs had been sore for about a week and I didn't know why. And I went up for here for for prayer and uh, my bruised bruised ribs were healed. I never had any more problem with that bruised ribs. Then uh, we were going to go to Israel and I had a, a sore. I got a damaged foot from an accident. And this damaged foot used to weep. It had little blisters that used to weep. And this, it had been weeping for eight months. And I, whatever I put on it, it didn't help. I bandaged it every day of my life. But we were going off to Israel and I thought, it's not going to be very good if I'm tra traping around in the dust and everything. And I've got this thing. So I, um, that night, uh, a word of knowledge came. Said someone's left leg it was. Well, it wasn't the left leg, it was the left foot, but I went up anyway. And the man that prayed with me, he obviously didn't think it was for me. So he prayed, but then I went back to my seat. And at the end of the service, he came back and he said, The Lord told me that I, it's, it's you that he was calling. He was talking about, he wants to heal your foot. He prayed again, and the next morning when I went up to go have my bath, and I was used to having this bandage stick with all this stuff, it just came off, the bandage just came off loose and it never ever ripped again, never had no seeping or anything and that was another healing, immediate, both of those were immediate healings and I give God all the glory, it's only God, only Jesus healed me and every day he's doing something, <laughs> but not healing health but he's doing little miracles in my life every day, every day. Thank you, Lord. Just just last week, my, my stove went bang, and uh, I, I didn't worry about it too much. I thought, I'll just let, I'll leave it now and see what happens. The stove was finished, and I went to pick up one of our sisters in the church, and I said, just in conversationally, oh, my stove blew up two days ago. She said, there's people selling their whole flat full of stuff. There's a stove going big in there. 500 rand. I've got a lovely little stove for 500 rand. It works perfectly. That's the Lord again. All the glory to Him. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Very good. Yeah. Thank you. I don't want to tell this story because it's a bit involved, but... Well, hang on. I've just stopped it so you can tell me the story. Okay. okay. This is, this is a, a story about when we were in Russia. We were in St. Petersburg. And it was our last day in, in St. Petersburg. We were leaving the next day from Moscow. And I, we, we wanted to go shopping. And uh, my husband didn't want to go. He stayed in the hotel with, an, with a couple of ladies. The five of us went into town. And we went in on the bus. And someone I just heard someone talking and saying, we've got to catch a seven bus or a nine trolley bus. But I didn't take any notice. We went and did our shopping and we, we came out, we finished at five o'clock, was, was peak hour, all the people were coming home from work and you have to walk underground there to get over to the other side of the road. We walked underground and I was a bit nervous about getting lost. I just sort of watched one of the tall people in our group and um, we got to the other side and they said, oh, our two of them went to go and look at some artwork and the three of us were 
waiting at the bus stop and we saw this bus come and I can't even tell you whether it was a seven or a nine but um, the two of them, they, they said, oh yeah, here's our bus, here's our bus and I wor was worrying about the two that were what, looking at this artwork so I ran back to go and tell them, here's our bus and when I got there, they had already seen the bus and got on the bus and I was left high and dry <laughs> the others had all got on the bus and I didn't, I didn't know how I was, how I was going to get back to our hotel I, I didn't know whether I, I to catch a seven bus or a nine trolley bus. I spoke to somebody, but the Russians don't talk to strangers, and they, they looked right through me when I asked, does this bus go to the Gulf of Finland? That was where our hotel was, the Gulf of Finland. They didn't just look right through me, and I thought, I'm not going to get it. No one's going to tell me. And I didn't even know the name of our hotel. I, I, I just thought, let that bus go. And then the next bus, I thought, well, I, I have to get on the bus. I got on the bus just praying that this would be the right bus or it would take me somewhere where I needed to go. I got on the bus and it was full. Standing room only. I was in the middle of all these people standing. You couldn't see out of the windows because it was winter. This was in December. Frozen. Everything was uh, all iced up the windows and, and full. I, I started praying in tongues. And I just, I was so desperate, someone behind me had stood on my shoe and pulled my shoe half off as well. And I just prayed, prayed in tongues, Lord. I don't know what I said, but I was desperate. I looked around, I stopped praying, and I looked around, and on the right hand of me there was a lady sitting next to the window. And she rubbed the window with her finger, with her hands. Maybe she was waiting to see where she, her stop was. She waved her, she, she, she cleaned the window with her hand. And at that very minute, I saw the ferry next to the Gulf of Finland. That very minute. And I just sh shouted out, stop, stop! They didn't understand what stop meant, but they uh, knew by the urgency in my voice that they stopped at the next bus stop. And I got off, and I knew I had to walk back one bus stop. And there I saw the other four waiting there. They were so anxious that, that when they got off, the, uh, that's when they realized that I wasn't with them. And now they didn't know how to go home and to go to the hotel and tell my husband that they'd lost me. And I shouted to them, don't worry, I'm here. And the one said, I told you Jean would have it. She's got a good head on her shoulders. I said, it's got nothing to do with the head on my shoulders. It's all to do with God. He heard my prayer because and I told them this miracle. At the very time that I stopped and looked, I saw our hotel. Next to the, next, I saw the, the ferry next to the hotel. So that was another miracle. This is the story of my life. <laughs> well,